In this video, I'm going to take this wooden tray and make a beautiful Christmas scene with Iron Orchid Designs transfers. Then I'm going to pick from tea towel and drop cloth material and use those IOD transfers again and make these beautiful hanging signs. Are you ready for some rustic farmhouse Christmas decor? I am. Let's get started. Welcome my crafty loving friends to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly thrifted this little tray or plate and wanted to do something Christmassy with it. Now, in full disclosure, I did not want to make this into an IOD video. I don't, uh, or Iron Orchid Designs. I don't uh, use those things all the time and I know they're expensive. Once in a while, I like to treat myself and I needed a little bit of Christmas inspiration. So I went and bought the uh, candy cane packet and one of their molds of the Christmas tree which I'll show you in a different video but this one is going to be just with the transfers and I'm going to show you a few different ways that I use them and my granddaughter Katie's going to make a little video appearance here and she's going to show you how easy it is to use those transfers so I first put a layer of ink paint actually I did two coats front and back on this plate and then I took the Dixie Bell Latte Paint and did two coats on the top of that. And now I'm taking my paintbrush with a little bit of black paint and just going over the top. I'm just giving this some layers to make it look kind of rustic and old. I want an old farmhouse look to this. So here is the the candy cane transfers and there's so many different really cool things. You're gonna see us use that big Santa and that car and I am going to uh, do these as well, not in this video. You'll see them at the end what I do but the process is really the same and I didn't want to be repetitive. So I decided I wanna do this little Santa and the tree that is underneath him on this tray and we're going to make a little winter scene using this and some iod molds you want to make sure that your paint is definitely totally dry before you work on these transfers and try to stick them down they will not stick very well if um, you try to do that while they are still wet and they will cling to the paint and pull it right off when you pull your clear top piece off Once I made sure that my transfers were stuck on really well, I grabbed my Blitz IOD uh, mold and I took some hot glue because I wanted it immediately and I wanted to be able to paint it and stuff. So instead of using clay, I decided to use my hot glue. Now I didn't prep these at all. You just put the hot glue in. Once it dries and cools down, you can pop them right out and I'll show you uh, in the next clip how easy it is just uh, make sure you fill up your little design whatever you're deciding to do uh, fully so that it goes through all the edges now it's clear until you it dries and then it's a little like a milky color here so you know that it's ready to pop out and they popped out really easy like I said I didn't do any prep with this that mold I didn't totally get enough glue in it so i went ahead and did another one and while it was drying and cooling down i grabbed some of my fusion metallics paint i have a copper and a champagne light color i wanted to use the copper but it was very dried out and i'm going to need to add a little water to that and i didn't want to mess around i wanted to get going on this so i just grabbed the champagne and i'm going to paint the uh, snowflakes with the champagne color which is also pretty dry but i it was wet enough so that i could paint my little snowflakes i wanted these to have a little bit of a shimmer but i also want them to look a little bit uh, distressed and more vintage so i'm going to show you how i'm going to do that in the next step
this is Dixie Bell Dirt, and it is just like what it says it is. It's a powdery mixture that looks kind of like dirt, and I want to put that onto my snowflakes. Now, this is a powder, like a, like a almost like a baby powder, so it's so light, and it falls right down into the cracks and crevices. Now, I did hit this with my heat gun to dry that uh, champagne color just a little bit, and then I took a brush once I put on the dirt, and I brushed it off the tops of my snowflakes, and the dirt fell down in the cracks and crevices, so it just made it look old and vintage. Then I took more of the champagne and I went over the top, just the top ridges of my snowflakes to give that shimmer back and it just looks so aged and I just love how this looks. I do want to put some greenery on the top with a little bow so I stayed a little bit down below the rim. I also took a little bit of black paint and went around the edge, the, the rim of the plate and highlighted the edges just a little bit so that it wasn't getting all washed out. I think it gave it a nice look. I did some clear wax on there and sealed it in and then here's my greenery. I just took a couple sprigs of uh, some out of my stash, wired those together, added the bow, and then just took a little bit of the champagne paint and put it on to a brush and splattered it on so that it looked like little snowflakes. So here's what it looks like. trying to decide we want to do she wants to do she picked out this from the iod um oh jeez i can't even get it open here there we go the candy cane cottage and she picked the big santa claus so what we want to do is put it on some material so we have this tea dyed tea and coffee dyed tea cloth we mm -hmm. have some thin drop cloth Mm -hmm. which has got like a little spots in it and stuff, which I really like. And then we have a thicker one. Aye. That's about the same color, but it's very thick compared to these three things. Yeah. So, and then we looking the at these one. all, yeah. Then, yes, we have the, the Christmas cloth. So, what do you think, Katie? Which one would you like? This one, this one, or this one? You want, you, you've picked this one and that's the one you want to go with. Okay, so first thing I have to do, I want to get it trimmed down a little bit to make it more manageable and we're going to have to iron it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me do that and then we'll come back. There. Yep, just don't touch the bottom. Nice job. I transfer Santa from this paper onto the cloth. Okay, okay. I think that's good. All right, so we're gonna peel the Santa off. It's so sticky. Don't, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch, don't touch. Okay. And we're gonna set it right we're on the set cloth, it, guys. Yep, yeah, we're gonna set it on the cloth and we're gonna smooth it out. And then you're gonna take your, take this, flip it around, and you're gonna go like this. Okay, okay. Okay, and you're gonna like smooth it out. You gotta press down kinda hard. Start down at the boots, maybe. We may have to press down. Wait, stop, stop, stop. I want to see. want to peel gently, gently. <gasps> the rose is out of the same candy cane cottage pack. So we're going to cut them out. It just and makes it easier to work with. Yeah. Um, I think guys, she's addicted to transfers. Um, so guys, don't use grown-up 
scissors like this, but only parents and your grown-ups. Right. Be a grown-up. Yeah. If you're using them, you might cut yourself, so don't do this at home. Right. Unless you have a grown-up present, right? Yes, if they're with you. Yeah. Okay. So, we got to figure out how we want to lay these down. And because you're so good at this, I'm going to let you pick. We're just going to pick which you want to go like, kind of like this. Does that look good? Yeah. Well, that look good to you? one here. You peel it, girl. Do I have both to hands. Sit? You don't have to sit. You can stand. There you go. No, um, now, easy. Don't just flop it. You've got to set it down where you want this it. This part. Right here. Oh, can I have it? Yeah. Oh, now oh, be careful because this one's smaller. So. Oh, I need the flower part. Don't push it really hard. Push it really hard. <gasps> wow, you're so fast. <laughs> Where'd you learn that? <laughs> They can't see it. Oops, I Look at I... guys. I just did it. Now let's do this one. Okay, let's burnish it though. You gotta take yeah. this side and you gotta go like this. Oh. We got Santa just a little bit there. Because we got a pretty my there. we got pretty excited, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, right here. That's okay. So guys, don't like push it down really hard, guys, but you can do this at home with your mom or your dad but you can do it also with your grammy if you're at your grammy's house you can do crafting and all types of stuff you did it i did oh yep flip it over and burnish it down see girl's professional now so we didn't get it on video because i thought i had it going and it was not but we took that previous transfer and cut it up and made it go around kind of like it went like on the back of oh, I the truck and then over the top here and made it look like kind of a little frame like he's coming out of a frame i think it looks really cute and all we did was cut it along the lines and just cut wherever we needed to cut yeah and um it came out i think it came out really cute what do you think do you think, guys? Cute. This video is a Christmas farmhouse collaboration with several other wonderful creators on YouTube. I'll leave a link to their channels and to the playlist and to the comments at the top and down in my description box. Make sure you check out these wonderful creators. This is definitely going to give you some information and inspiration to get you going for Christmas time. I used my table saw and my new sander to make a few one by one strips of wood that I'm going to use for my, my cloth material that Katie and I did with the IOD transfers on them. So first I'm going to uh, use my antique wax water down and just make kind of a stain with it and stain that up so that I have a nice base underneath. Then I'm going to take some DIY pay, uh, paint that I have. This is Marquee. It's a nice red color. And I'm just going to kind of dry brush it on. Uh, this paint I had was very dry. I don't know. Everything's drying out on me. Um, so I had to add a little bit of water. It is clay-based paint, so I can add some water to it and mix it up, and it worked wonderful. And then, so I'm brushing that on just with a dry brush, and then wiping it back with a rag. I just want this to have an old worn look. So then I took a little bit of black paint after I did all of my, my strips of wood and I'm just doing the edges kind of highlighting with a little bit of black paint and just wiping a little bit on very light, light black. I'm going to uh, put some holes in all of these pieces of wood. Normally you'd only put one in the top. Uh, you wouldn't put one in the bottom piece, but 
I wanted to add another element to that so that it matched the top of the hanger. So uh, I'm doing this in all of my pieces of wood. It's just on a card piece of cardboard so I can do a little, little hole in there and not drill through my table. So I cut a bunch of strips of just regular wire. I get this wire from, you can get it from anywhere, but I get this black wire from Tractor Supply. It's over in the fencing area. And uh, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like 7 or $8 a roll, or it was. Um, and I just do a little bit extra so that it will hang, and I can have a little bit sticking out the front so that I can take something round, rounded and kind of twirl that around and make a little loop that will hold that wire on and it gives it a little bit of a decorative element as well. So once I do both sides of that I'm going to do the bottom strip of wood. So I'm doing going to do the same thing except it's not going to be a big long piece of wire. It's going to be just a short little piece of wire. So I'm going to cut them off. I'd say it's probably about three inches long. I have to have it long enough so that my, you know, I can wrap it around and my fingers, I, you know, can, can deal with the, that wire. And so here you can see, I'm just wrapping it around and making a little, a little piece like the top, but it doesn't have that big wire hanger on it. And then I point the little wire down and I glue them down in the holes in the bottom of the strips. I hope that all makes sense. Now you probably noticed that I had one of my sets of pieces of wood was shorter than the other and that's because one of my transfers that I had is a little bit shorter or width wise so I just made it a little bit like by an inch shorter so I have 13 inches long on on all of them but one set that's 12 so I just thought it would look better than having a big long piece of wood so now I'm just taking my uh, family staple gun and my husband got this for me years ago and I've had a lot of questions about it I'll put a link down in the description if you're looking for one I really do like this it's a good heavy duty one it is hard to squeeze for me so I have to use two hands when I do it most of the time like holding it down and squeezing at the same time but uh, I can get it to work but it works really well I haven't had any issues with it so this is the shorter one that I made the short little pieces of wood and I just added some greenery to all of my hangers some red berries and this really pretty striped like ticking stripe type um, bow to all of them so here are all of our creations Thank you for watching my Christmas farmhouse collaboration. Let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite out of these creations. Don't forget to check out the links below for the playlist to this collab. You're going to get lots of inspiration. I just know it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.